Hello and welcome back to Top Welding. Today we present to you the new range of plasma cutters from the ESAB brand. We are talking about the Handy Plasma 35i and 45i. Both powered by 220 volts, both provided with a Shuko plug, uh, 16 amperes, maximum cutting current of 35 amperes for the 35i and 45 amperes for the 45i. The maximum cutting capacity of the 35 is 12 millimeters, clearly on iron, on mild steel, and therefore it is usually used on a thickness around 6 to 7 millimeters. For the 45, instead, the maximum cutting capacity is 16 millimeters, and thus it is usually used around 10, 11, 12 millimeters. Both models are equipped with an LCD screen that I will show you in detail later. You then need to connect both machines to an external compressor. Later, I will show you the connection part uh, on the back of the machine. One very interesting thing about these ESAB plasma hand tools is that there is no need to adjust the compressed air. In fact, the machine automatically detects the incoming pressure and self-adjusts the output pressure. Additionally, there is an automatic system that purges the compressed air after the cut. This is very important because it increases the lifespan of the parts subject to wear, therefore all the consumables on the torch head. Both plasma cutters come with their generator and of course a power cable. Inside we find a cable with the ground clamp, a 4 meter handy plasma torch, 60 amps with the consumable base already mounted and inside the small bag we find the instruction manual, we find the fitting. For the air connection to be connected on the back of the plasma, and then we find a key, this black one you see, which is used to unscrew the small cup that collects moisture if necessary. I'll show you the control panel of the Handy Plasma 35. As you can see, we've just turned it on. First of all, here on the first part of the screen, you can see that I have the adjustment of the cutting current up to a maximum of 35 amperes. On the bottom right side, you can see that we have connected the compressor and the pressure is shown uh, the air. And if I click on the potentiometer, I can move to these four uh, main functions. The first one at the top left is two stroke, four stroke for the torch button. The second one is the normal cutting function or cutting on gratings to avoid interrupting the cutting arc. If I proceed, I go back to the home page and as the last feature at the bottom right, there's the air tests. I can release the air from the plasma torch and point out the output pressure to me. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video as well. I remind you that top welding is always at your disposal if you need technical information about these models or similar ones, whether it's plasma cutters or welding machines. Until next time, bye.